Deep Ellum has got a lot of cool stuff. Which is why Jeff Beeler and his partners opened their restaurant, Cheap Steaks, here about a year ago. Unfortunately, there's a few bad apples that have picked this area yeah. to pander. They're misrepresenting, I think, Deep Ellum. 20-year-old Arion Johnson was shot and killed over the weekend, the fourth person killed in Deep Ellum this year. Whatever it was about, it was senseless. His mother, his nana, and his baby sister, Gianna. I know, my love. Don't cry. Went to see his body at the funeral home Wednesday. I don't know if we're going to ever be the same. <laughs> that was Nana's baby. Dallas City Council member Jesse Moreno represents Deep Ellum. I was here this past Saturday night, uh, and I'll be here again this Saturday night over the weekend. He says this Saturday, more officers will walk the sidewalks, proactively looking to curb crime. Addressing people parting in the parking lots, uh, you're going to see officers who are approaching people that are uh, perhaps drinking on the sidewalks. By the end of the year, he says there will be a full DPD unit dedicated to Deep Ellum. That unit will have a special relationship with the business owners and, and you know, we'll be able to identify, hey, this looks out of place. I think that there needs to be some curfew laws and some um, loitering laws in force. But other than that, you know, I think that the, you know, more presence, the better down here. As they plan in hopes of ending stories like these, DPD asks anyone who knows who this is to call them and bring closure for a grieving family. I need answers and I, I, I need, I need a resolution. In Dallas, I'm Morgan Young.